glass. First produced by nature, and then with a man-made recipe of sand, soda ash, and limestone. That simple recipe has been tinkered with for thousands of years. From the first glass beads of ancient Egypt to the first light bulb hand-blown for Thomas Edison by Corning. Corning went on to pioneer Pyrex, the cathode ray tube, optical fiber, and mirrors that show us the universe. Today, Corning glass is everywhere you can see and hard at work behind the scenes, bringing our news, sports, and entertainment to vivid life. What kind of science makes this incredibly large, thin, flawless display possible? Let's go back to that recipe. Glass starts with silicon, number 14 on the periodic table. It makes up most of the Earth's crust, but it's how silica is modified with other elements that makes all the difference. Boron and magnesium are essential in making television display glass, but using too much causes crystals to form. <laughs> there goes your picture. Corning scientists have used at least 50 of the elements in the periodic table in different glass recipes. They were also first to remove ingredients from display glass that we now know were unnecessary, like arsenic and other heavy metals. But ingredients are only the beginning of a recipe. Television display glass has always required unique manufacturing processes. For decades, Corning perfected the process. It took trial and error, finding the right ingredients, the right technique, the right heating and the right cooling at exactly the right moment. That's how Corning invented the fusion process. At its heart, a lava-like flow of molten glass over 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit that descends from a height of seven stories. The display glass is completed by gravity and air. It cools in mid-air to form a pristine, stable sheet of glass that's thinner than a bed sheet, thinner than a business card, thinner than aluminum foil. Automated lasers inspect the glass for defects. The lasers can spot a blister, bubble, or other flaw invisible to the naked eye. It would be like a human looking for a mustard seed in a football field. The latest generation of glass sheets are enormous, larger than two king-size mattresses. So large, they won't fit under most bridges or even inside the largest aircraft for transport. That's why Corning built large-scale factories directly connected to where the actual displays are made. This entire incredible process leads to televisions that are wider, thinner, and more affordable than ever before. With phenomenal picture quality, bringing our human dramas and comedies to life. Corning's display glass has become the standard for display screens around the world. In fact, Corning has produced enough Eagle XG glass to circle the Earth 145 times and we're always exploring new recipes. What amazing innovations will come next on the journey of glass?